Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Roger Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. In the last episode, we got basically just we went AWOL, and now we're gonna take on uh, we're gonna take on Rome. I asked a lot of good people on Twitter uh, what I should do, and I and a lot of people actually sent me messages on Rome and said, "Do Rome, the where the Romans go." Shh, cutscene. Who am I kidding? I always talk during these things. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. <laughs> you have no idea of mine, little lady. Misery loves company. Care to share? No, not really. Same old Saudi Arabia. Not quite like the brochure, huh? I'm Scarlet. Mike. So, Mike, Johansson? What brings you oh, to no, this Lake, exciting right. corner of the world? <laughs> Secret agent. <laughs> right. It's better if you don't believe me anyhow. All right, be honest. Has that worked on anyone? How impressed are you? Not. All right. My turn's over. How about you? Those your legs? <laughs> Other pain. Really, dude? Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Photojournalist. One of the best. Dangerous work around these parts, I'd imagine. If there's no risk, it's not important. Mm hmm I think you're on to something. My beard Here, tells me that you me. have information. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. If I hear anything juicy, you're the first person I'll call. I appreciate that. You know, there's something about you. Makes me think I might just be sitting next to a headline. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just a normal guy. With an amazing Each beard. Day, mostly. Okay, if you say so. Bad things happen to all kinds of people. You might get lucky. I think I'll keep an eye on you regardless. I'd appreciate that. So, uh, Scarlet can help me out in a few missions. Um, I've never actually used her for information, though. I usually sell to, to um, Halbeck and get you extra money. That's kind of just a thing I always did. But, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe for the Let's Play, I'll see what happens if I send information to her. All right, so let's see Rome's safe house. Hopefully better than the last one. Nice wow. I kind of hope this lasts a while. I could get used to this. That looks good. <laughs> that right. picture. What do we got? Oh, From God. the information yeah. Shahid gave us, it's not clear what I forgot all about that picture. Halbeck and al in Rome. But it does list the local al cell leader, a Jibril Albara. But Interesting. You know, you have this really cute way of broadcasting trouble with your tongue. Oh, God. It's part of my charm. <laughs> What's the problem? There's a CIA listening post here in Rome, and it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. And El Samad, it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar, but that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. I could just hit the place. Once gunfire starts, they'll need to relocate. They're just doing their job, Mike. I don't know if that's the best option. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op, which will make finding the Al Samad cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on Al Samad and Halbeck. Hmm. It looks like there's an NA echelon listening post home. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. Yes, a few uh, video glitches like here and there. It's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. I Those bet. are my options. Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara. What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a I check go to the of Halbeck shop. employees What's in and ex-employees in Rome. One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Really? Conrad Marburg. Sounds like Russian. Only because I know a lot of... I had a friend whose name was Conrad, and he was Russian. Find him? That's just it. I don't it's a cool name. I think anyone with the name Conrad is That's why really cool, like search. some kind of adventure guy. Adventure right. Conrad. So what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one, at least as of a year ago. He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the Veteran Combat Initiative. They're mercenaries, uh, ex-American military, right? Right. Hmm. They're not too discriminating about the contract, as long as a firefight is involved. Of course. Mm. All right. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your screen now. His dossier doesn't have much on him. And some of the early details seem 
sketchy to me. Mike, what's wrong? Your face is flipping out. That's what's wrong. Uh, I apologize for the but video glitching going the on there. I don't know what first. that is. They're a little more knee jerk than Halbeck. I agree. Without Jahid to rein them in, who knows what the individual cells will do while well, there is really a weird. power struggle? We need to find Jabril Albara. My thoughts exactly. But I'm worried there's already a plan in motion. All right, so I think we'll start hitting the roam then. Yeah, I'm not sure what the video glitching is. Um, it's really, really annoying actually. I'll have to figure that out. Um, maybe during post recording, I'll figure something out. I don't know if it's maybe maybe the cords need to be cleaned out or something. I don't know. Uh, so, anyways, a few things. It's been three weeks since I made a video because holidays and other personal stuff that's been coming up. Uh, and I really just haven't had the time or the motivation to get back into it. But I am now, now that all the weird holiday stuff's been taken care of. So we're going to check the emails here for a second, check out what we can buy and whatnot. Stuff about uh, Scarlet Lake. I'll we'll send a little message to Mina. Because we'll go with the... Um, no... Yeah, you know, that, that that should work. And then tracking bug. So, one thing I want to mention, as I pause for a short time, is that my um, my capture card actually stopped working for a little bit, and then I tried to reinstall the disk, and apparently there was a huge update. So the whole thing got updated, which is probably why it's all glitching out like this. Uh, on top of that, I now have webcam capability, which I didn't think was possible. That was weird. Um... I guess you can see I'm still trying to work out the bugs as we speak here. I don't know... I don't know if I'll ever do a webcam. Seems like a, a lot of extra work to start with, and on top of that, I don't even know if it's going to work well with this, uh, this setup I have going on so far. So this whole video might have a little, have the weird glitches, I don't know. But... I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so we're going to we're gonna bug the CIA listening post. And see what happens from there. All right, so uh, we're back. There was a few video glitches, uh, as you guys have probably already noticed, and I tried fixing them, but I ended up losing a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, video itself. It actually, got corrupted I'm in. halfway through. Seems pretty quiet. So I had to readjust the thing, and hopefully things will work out better. Uh, first thing you'll notice is we have completely different weapons now. Uh, we now have the gold-plated AR with us, instead of the usual submachine gun. I thought, for, uh, since we're doing a let's play of this, I'm doing a let's play, I'll just switch and go for the assault rifle this time. I'll use all the unlock weapons you get, and show what each, each and every one of them does. Alright. Hello, sir. Yeah, don't let me yell the open or anything. And whap. Done. Uh, one thing you'll notice is I'm actually killing these guys. Um, the reason why is because there's actually a little bit of a perk you can get where you can get a discount on weapons and armor. Uh, by not attacking anybody. So, not, not attacking, uh, non-lethal. Anything non-lethal. So that's why we're using tranquilizer rounds. This guy's deaf. Like, seriously, deaf. Uh, but anyways, we're using Trank Rounds and we're taking out non-lethally because we get a bonus. We 10% off uh, discount for all... Well, for any buy, really, on this mission, which is always good to have those discounts. Because, like I said, money is very scarce in this game, and it's, you know, just better to have a lot more friend your side. Alright, now I'm trying to figure out where I go. Now, um, one thing I want to mention here is that the CIA listening post is actually a very short mission. There isn't a lot to it. It's a very simple mission. You could go in here and kill everybody. But we're not going to do that. We're going to take this nice and easy. Gonna, we're going to slow it down just a tiny bit. There and there. Alright, cameras are out. And let's do this one. By hacking this camera, this will allow us to get a back door, which will actually knock out. Uh, cameras and get us access to other information as well. Accessing the database and downloading the software. All right, receiving. We're good. Listening in on the listening post. 
Gotta love this job. All right, so this guy's like, I'm probably gonna get spotted, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's just really blind. It's the sunglasses. They're wearing sunglasses inside. It always happens. All right, so let's get this information. Got 6,500. Ooh, Mina Tang. Got some information on her. All right. I can't tell if I'm getting better at these passwords or worse, in all honesty. Alright, what do we got here? Fit wait, wait, hold on. What does that say? Haze. Haze sex. You know what? You guys can pause that and read it yourself. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid that Control one. Control room's locked from the inside. No other entrances I can see. Hmm. Looks like the only way to get it to open is to get them to open it. I'll think of something. Looks like an air... Let's so modify the air the conditioning here. What are you doing? All right, so Why we want to get away from this door them? here because it's gonna give. They're gonna run right out there. Just giving them a scare. A little something Let's I see. learned in third period science. What the hell? Oh wait, didn't mean to do that. Hey, language, Mister. So what's funny about this is I'll get spotted, but for whatever reason, his friend will take forever to get it. All right, and we'll just trank you out of the way. Easy. You'll notice that uh, the CIA don't have any backup, by the way, which I think is kind of interesting. All right. More hacking. Let's see here. I see the first one. Second one is... Uh, ooh, right there. All right, more Dase on the... Has... Halbeck. Albara. In Georgia. Like I said, you can always pause it to read those. I don't know if I gave enough time, actually. And we level up. That's also good. Alright. Da -da -da -da. And then I guess we'll just, uh... Go. Oh, we got a guy here. This guy used to get me all the time. I didn't think to look down here. But apparently there's one more guy. We'll use Shadow Operative. And pop. He's done. And then we'll just slink our way out of here. Uh, or I could just go the wrong way completely and just... I don't know, maybe this is just nitpicking, but is it really is it really a good idea to go out the front door after going into a CIA listening post? Ah, well. Anyways, we completed the mission, and we got some cool stuff with it, too. And some experience points. Oop, and I skipped it. Uh, professional courtesy. I'll probably have to show that later. just detected a source within the VCI branch office doing a search for your profile. Although they've got the height wrong. I'm taller in person. Sounds like Marburg needs to hire a brighter bunch. It looks like the analyst isn't doing it on company time. I have the workstation called up. It's using the workstation Parker used while he was undercover as a Halbeck contractor. What? The ID on the badge used to access the office it's is... It's too easy. Madison St. James. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a porn star. <laughs> I think I've seen some of her movies. These windows into your world really scare me sometimes. Then I'll leave the fact that I may have worked with her for another. Oh, that's funny. Got a picture? It's good. Calling it up now. Hmm. She's pretty. Is she pretty? I can't tell over the fuzziness of the screen. No, I think I'd remember. But if she's tied to Marbert, I think we've got a way to get to him after all. All right, let's level the skills. Um, you also know that the skills are changed around a slight bit too. I actually figured out how to use the oper the operator. You have to select the th out of the three skills which one you want to upgrade. And I went with toughness, assault rifles, and pistols because those are most likely what we're going to be using. Uh, we're not going to be sneaking around for a lot of this, so we want as um, make ourselves as different as possible. Assault rifles are just the most useful. I couldn't really think of anything else I wanted to use. Because, I mean, room sweep is effective, kind of, but you're definitely going to need range in the long run, so I'm just going to focus on that. Uh, toughness is important because we need iron will, which will give us a, a huge damage resistance when fighting bosses. And 
I guess we can get some points to CQPC. Gives more damage to strike. And these are the perks, as you remember. I think it's in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. 10% armory discount from Rome. There you go. So as you notice, because we didn't uh, kill any of them, we actually get 10% discount, which can help us out in the long run. And like I said, there's other upgrades you can do and other things you do in a mission that help increase your uh, your discounts or give you perks and other things. But even I don't even know them all yet, so I, I wouldn't be able to tell you all of them. Oh, uh, this is the night. Uh, let's set the Scarlet. Uh, I didn't I didn't mention this in the last episode, but I never sent the Scarlet before. But we're gonna see what happens if I send it to her. I mean, might as well. That's it. Okay. So basically, if you, ooh, download. Basically, if we uh, send any information to Scarlet, it makes us like, it makes her like us. Sorry. But that's about it. If I give it to Halbeck, they give us money. If I sell it to Black Market, I get money for that. So, I'll be sending the most of them to the money. Because we need money in this game. It may not seem like it right now, but we're going to need money. Um, these are the weapons we have locks, unlocked so far. And actually, none of them are better than what we have. They have better stats, but in terms of damage, they don't really compare. And uh, strangely enough, damage when it comes to the assault rifle is one of the most important things. That and uh, stability, because that'll f determine how fast your uh, ready kill will shrink and make it more accurate. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, do we get any other... No, this is gear we already had. Eventually I'll start buying um, upgrades to the armor. So we can uh, make ourselves a little more effective. Um, ooh, EMP charges. We're going to need those. I didn't mention this before. You might have noticed it early in the episode. If not, you can always go back and check. Um, I got a skill that allows us to unlock doors, knock out keypads, and other electronic devices uh, with the circle button if we have an EMP, char act EMP charge active. The only downside to that is we don't get any experience points for hacking anything. But it's a nice thing to use if you need to move quickly. As you see, we have nothing for AR, but uh, it does almost double the amount of damage that our pistol does. And we're going to put the lightweight clip in there to make it more accurate. And let's see, we have room for gadgets, so... Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, welcome to Rome.